A lot of them need help, and I don't mind helping them. In his modest room at the downtown Hamilton YMCA, Dennis Perka shows me food he has collected for some of his neighbors. All the food that I get, I don't think I've ate one sandwich out of it. The food is brought to him by several pastors he knows, and he gets it to people in the building who are less mobile and less able to pay for food. Perka is one of 174 men who live at the Y in single rooms that cost only $429 a month. I do love it. I do. I have a lot of friends in this building. It's an opportunity that keeps the majority of the men who live here from living on the street in this very unaffordable housing market, according to Genevieve Haladish, who manages the residence. Haladish says the demand for a room is huge and the wait list to get in is very long. The options are really limited right now and I think we're seeing that you know, evidently throughout the city with encampments and you know, capacity on, on shelter systems. There's just really not enough options for people. The men can access programming, mental health support and a social worker to help with their specific needs. She says donations are an important source of support because the Y receives no operational funding for the men's rooms from the government. Donors make everything possible. And says as getting people housed is the first step to tackling their other problems. Trying to, you know, support mental health and addiction, all those other things become more complicated when people don't have a place to, to rest their head. Over the last couple of years, we've really ramped up support for, for this group. Paul Haddad is the regional vice president of philanthropy at the Y and says outreach to vulnerable people has gone up during the pandemic. This year, he says the Y's Giving Tuesday donations will go towards helping low-income families pay for the holidays. We hope to raise $20,000 to, uh, to provide each of these families with a $100 gift card. Not far away, another organization with a Giving Tuesday fundraising drive is trying to help vulnerable people cover the rising cost of everything. Any individual who comes in, for example, from the encampments and they need food, clothing, we assist them. Carmen Salsacholi of the Good Shepherd Center says without food banks like his, homelessness in Hamilton would increase. He says demand in October was up 8% over last year and social assistance programs aren't keeping pace with the need. Individuals use more of their food money to pay rent and therefore are almost forced to come to us. Good Shepherd says for every dollar that is donated, they're able to turn that dollar into $3 worth of food. The food bank says that it helps about 6,000 people every month. And I'm in another job right now, like I just lost a job, so I'm back here now. The food bank allows people like Sharice and her family to have enough food during difficult times. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, Hamilton.